Hey guys, how you doing? It's Hex DSL, and we're here to talk about Oathloss. Uh, Oathloss Omega Edition, in fact. Oathloss is the now infamous mob simulator game that did the rounds on YouTube when it first came out. Everyone unanimously seemed to like it. I'm not such a fan. I'm not quite sure I... I'm not sure I sure enjoy it as much as most people seem to have done on YouTube, but that's, you know, we can't all agree. Recently, very positive. Overall, um, overall, very positive as well. So that's, I just had to read the same thing twice. I don't know why I hesitated. It's priced at £9.99. I got it as part of, I want to say, Humble Monthly Bundle, but honestly, it could have been any Humble Bundle. I'm fairly sure I got it for Humble, and I didn't pay full price for it. Single player, Steam achievements, full controller support, which it says full controller support, and I have a feeling a couple of my criticisms would not be so criticisy, criticisy, wouldn't be as bad if I used the controller, but it's a kind of roguelike uh, strategy game, and it's not something I'd really want to use a controller for usually. Steam Cloud Storage also. Uh, the Olympus Edition gives you the soundtrack, the encyclopedia, and the prototypes, whatever that may be. Have a look at our mouse over. Six amazing half-baked prototypes. Okay. Uh, okay, Frenzy, local multiplayer, stealthy mobness, side scrolling. Oh, okay, uh, I don't know what that's about. Prototypes to add a bit extra functionality to the game, though. And there's a little advert there for the uh, increased uh, increased edition, improved edition. Uh, the game requires, I say recommended. Let's go with recommended. Uh, an Intel Core 2 Quad or AMD Phenom 2 times four, four gigabyte of RAM, and a GeForce GTS 450 or Radeon HD. 4890 with one gig of RAM. So yeah, uh, that seems reasonable across the board for what the game is. Um, and again, 17 hours is, I think, so if you scroll down here, 17 hours is the highest play time on the record here. Um, no one seems to play for more than that. It seems like the average is between five and six. That seems like what people play before they move on. But again, if you're paying 10 pounds for a game and you're getting like six hours out of it, that to me is a perfectly, perfectly valid investment if you enjoyed those six hours. Um, yeah, so that's all I've got to say really about the game, other than, oh, I noticed that um, Devolver Digital, they've been quietly doing wondrous work on Linux. I mean, look at all the games they've got for Linux. They've been doing great work. They've got three pages of bloody games for Linux now, and they're all, they're all well, I say they're all, there's some particularly standout games in this list as well, like Enter the Gungeons, bloody fantastic. Reigns, fantastic. Uh, he's not a hero, pretty amazing. And Had to Fall Boyfriend, which is one of the best games ever made, I'm told, by many people that like these sorts of games um but yeah <laughs> devolver digital does some great work i got a lot of respect for devolver digital they're doing it very quietly good on them let's have a look at the game well i started a game already this is the game how it is uh I do, is there a zoom out zoom in i can't i feel like i feel like i want to zoom out every time i play this game like i'm like i don't know is it should we see if we can should we see if there's a zoom out do you think that this is the sort of thing i do in game no there's no zoom out see it's weird options graphics uh, no, it's in 1920 by 1080, regardless of what it actually says. Uh, yeah, weird. I always feel like I should zoom out. I always feel like it needs to zoom down. Yeah, we're picking up people. So we pick up people to fill our mob bar up there, and we just sort of go near them to get people. Yay! And I just got struck down. Philosopher died. I'm sure that didn't last long, but hey, it's what you get when you mess with the gods. Okay, yeah, so another philosopher rises up to take over the place, uh, and then we can... Take things, and then we hold down the button to attack. So you hold on the button, and they go attack. Yay! Uh, and then you can hold on the right. Oh, oh, oh! Mob order to attack, but doing so slowed them down. Okay, why is he giving tutorial? I played an hour of this game already. Did I go somewhere wrong? I don't know. So attack. Okay, there you go. Attack. This is basically the whole game. Now you see, I've got direct control of my philosopher over here. She's cool. I assume it's a she. It looks like a she. She's cool. And then uh, the mob sort of follow this. And I feel like, I know it's because the mob have to catch up with where I'm pointing, but I feel like it's not quite one-to-one -one enough. I feel like I'm always, like, they're always behind me. Um, I feel like they're always, they're always like, catching up with me. And uh, the range on this, like, I can't actually go to the edge of the screen with this. Uh, this is, like, the whole place I can go. But I find that a bit counterintuitive as well. Let's murder this guy. And now the gates are open. Yay! And uh, we should have another one of these. To, oh, another gate to go through. Yay. Okay. And then more things. Okay. And it says uh, you can right click to get them to guard stuff. So you can tell them to guard the philosopher with the right stick. And they'll just stand there and guard. And then you can do all things like that, which is pretty cool. I haven't really found much of a use for the guard function. I've not really found it being that useful. So charging them up, I take it. Just get them ready to fight. I don't know. Yeah, they do seem to be a bit boosted there. It's not really clear what the particular uses of that. And then three to eat meat. 
which heals everyone. Yay, all good to know. And then they can pick that up, and you can drop that on people with one. So again, you're not really controlling them. It's, it's, I know you are controlling them, but it just feels weird to me. It feels like I'm not in control. And yeah, we go around, and we go through various stages of districts and stuff. Um, I think whereas like a lot of roguelikes are... Um, there you go, you have to squeeze them to get... No, no, I'm just getting them murdered. <laughs> Where a lot of these road lights are split up into levels, this is split up into districts, um, but functionally it's the same. Uh, and we don't need to mess with the hero market right now. We can buy different hero characters that just slightly tweak it. And I think we can. I think if we kill this stuff, we get more meat. Uh, yeah, no, no, no meat. I don't know. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. So we want to spread them out. Spread them out so they don't so they don't all affect each other. And that should that should that should wear off in a second. Uh, if you keep them all together while they're poisoned, they slowly infect each other and die. Which is weird. Is that Ned Flanders there? That looks like Ned Flanders. Our mob capacity is at maximum, which is cool, I suppose. And uh, yeah, let's kill him. And yeah, this is basically the game. This is it. And everyone, all the YouTube videos I watch, people seem to really enjoy it. But I find it a bit dull. Because I'm like, I just, I'm just like, I'm just walking around here and holding down the mouse button. Um, and then every now and again, if they've got a power up at hand, I'll press a button. I don't find it particularly uh, particularly engaging. And I guess like I guess people like as they go through it and you start like looking at the intricacies. I couldn't say the word intricacies then. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Uh, a lot of a lot of games uh, of this genre I say this genre, a lot of these rogue lights, you like you've got a one to one control, it's down to your skill getting better. Um, and this game allows you unlock so I have no doubt there's a quite a big element of skill to it. Um, especially like deciding when to contain the mob and when to spread the mob, that sort of thing. Um, I have no doubt that that stuff's really cool and, and is, is really interesting and works well. But uh, I just don't feel like there's much past pointing people in the right direction. And sure, that's kind of the point of the game, I suppose. It's pointing people in the right direction. But at the same time, I, I don't feel like there's a lot of interactivity. I'm just walking around. I could almost I could almost not be paying attention. It'd just be like swiping around the screen. Like, I'm looking over here and swiping around the screen. And I think I could probably still progress fairly fairly far as far as i could without looking away i suppose so yeah i, I don't know uh, it, it's maybe it's me maybe i'm missing the point here but i just i don't enjoy this game um i can see the potential i can see how like and i've just murdered loads of people but yeah don't care it's fine um i can see the potential of like trying to control your mob in one direction while controlling your philosopher directly in the other direction uh could be could actually be um interesting and engaging but i just i just think it's not for me I just, I just really don't feel like it's something that's engaging me. And now I'm running around the level looking for the, looking for the bad guys. Oh, I see, and them guys that have got poison now. And how do I get these guys? Look, like these guys in the sky. How do I get them down here? I've got to get them. Go oh, there's one there. Look, I have to get him. Then when you've got all the dudes, the doors open. So there's the door over here won't open. I kill this last dude, and then the doors open. Hey, and now we can get out. That's that's it. That's, that's the game. Looks lovely. Graphically, love the art style they've gone with. Think it's fab. Want to see more of this. Love what Devolver Digital do. Um, all in all, nothing but praise for the, the artistic side of it. And But the gameplay, I don't know, just doesn't pull me at all. And I feel like I'm just complaining now. So, yeah, perhaps it's the end now. Perhaps it's time to move on. Let's get to this boss. Hey. Um. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get this dude. Yep. And then go get this dude now. You see, and now we go get this dude. I'm just, and I just, again, I'm already bored. I've been playing like, what, eight minutes? And I'm just like, oh, okay. I feel like after eight minutes, I've seen everything the game's got to offer. Hit four for the power up, which makes them all, I don't know, brandy or something. And as, as the mob dies, we replace them. Where's the last guy? Let's get, let's at least get this last guy. Let's hold my mouse button now. Not even looking, just looking over here. But there you go. Yeah, I don't get why so many YouTubers, when this came out, loved this game so much. They really, like, they was really into it. People really liked it. Um, I just, I don't know why. I don't know why. I really, because when I got the game, I was like, oh, cool. I wanted to play that. And then I just felt flat. The mob get hot, too. And you have to cool them down by standing them near cold stuff. Yeah. And then at the end of every major section, there's a god fight, which can be anything from destroying the pillars at a certain time, a certain opportunity. A little bit more stra strategical. I'm words are all over the place today. A little bit more strategical in the boss fights. There seems like a little bit more going on. Um, and like right now, the scenery is splitting my mob, which is fine. It's interesting. Interesting mechanic. 
um, that you, you can split that mob up and then have them go after stuff while keep your philosophy beyond the wall and stuff. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, that's that's it. That's it. And I'm yeah. And there are different things you can do. Like you can you, you get to the shop and you can buy a trade off. You can say like I'll I'll get rid of five of these people um, in favor of two and get two of these warriors. And then you know from that you can then build up these percentages and in theory make it quite a powerful mob but unfortunately it won't hold me long enough and as i said i've played an hour of this before i did this video and nothing about this game screams epic to me it's all very it all fell very flat on me so yeah one i can't recommend i don't really like covering videos uh, about games i don't like and i make a video about games i don't like i feel like i let you guys down if i'm just sort of oh you know let's just let down by the game but uh also i don't want the channel just to be entirely filled with stuff that you know, I don't want the game to be the, the video to be entirely filled with stuff that I uh, that, that that I love because that sort of seems counterproductive. And yeah, the game's uh, doing weird things now and and crashing. I lost my mouse cursor for a little bit. So uh, yeah, oh there you go. I'm back now. That was weird. Uh, it didn't like to actually add problems letting go. Then <laughs> maybe it knows it's never getting loaded again. But it's a shame that uh, when I see Devolver Digital nowadays, I am finding myself going, "Ooh, I'll probably like that. It'll be." different and unique and interesting and and although that game is wasn't for me but not every not every game can please everyone and people seem to like it so i've been hex this has been whatever this game was thank you for watching bye